Hi Stampin' Friends, this video is for the um, Witty Sisms stamp set. Um, it has several cute um, little sayings like talk about awesome, looking sharp, wow that went by fast, it's your retirement, you did it for graduation, welcome little one, happy birthday, thank you very much, this is what we're using today, and then the relax and chinchilla out, um, I have a video on that one also. Um, so this is the card that we're making. The Thank You Very Much it uses the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper with it. And this is Poppy Parade. This is a retiring ribbon. And this is a brand new um, bossing folder that I really like that goes with the Ornate Garden um, suite, I guess you would say. Um, so I'm gonna just show you a few things about this and then we'll get started making it. When I stamped the Thank You Very Much um, on here, I used the um, Stamparatus because I wanted to get it in the same place every time. And occasionally you can get um, where it doesn't stamp all the way. So when you do it with the Stamparatus, you can do it two or three times and it doesn't cause a problem. So that's how I did that. And then I used our old olive for our card base. And then of course the poppy parade for the second layer. This is the five and a quarter by four layer. And then this is the whisper white embossed layer, which is five by three and three quarters. And then I have my um, designer series paper layer, which is one and a half. And I have it going all the way, all the five and a half inches long. But you can trim it if you think it looks better to trim it. I am not gonna be the least upset about that. And um, you can also um, go ahead and cut your flirty flamingo layer and have that ready to go with your sentiment layer. So this should be the things you have. And this is the card that you should have your little um, cute little um, red. These should be in your kit to make the red rhinestones. Okay, so this is a very fairly simple card to create. Just want to use your snail to attach the whisper white to poppy parade layer. Seems like it's a little bit long. I might give it a little trim. Have my little tiny trimmer here. Let's take off a smidge. And then I put this on dimensionals. Of course, you don't have to. You can just um, stick it down with snail if you'd like. can't reach my trash back there. Okay, so at this point, before I stick it down, I want to um, use my Poppy Parade ribbon. Let's see if I can get it right the first time on cutting it. Hopefully so. So I just wrapped it around this way. And you can see here, I kind of just barely offset it. So, I think it's a good idea sometimes when you're um, doing this to go ahead and use your dimensional here when you're using dimensionals on, you know, normally we would use a glue dot, but since we're using dimensionals anyway, um, then I think it's a good idea to go ahead and just put your dimensionals, um, use them to hold your ribbon down. Well, let me see if that's about where I want it. Oh, not quite straight. I'm gonna scooch it a little bit. I think I'm gonna scoot it just a little more. Oh, I got that dimensional really stuck. Okay. This one, not so bad. Let's see if I like that better. I think I do. And then I just have to look for my red. Here they are, rhinestones. 
What's nice about these is they're all the same size. So if you're using if you're using them on something that where you're making a whole bunch like Christmas cards or something like that, um, they are perfect um, for that because you have so many all the same size and they, they don't cause any problem in mailing because they're so nice and small. Okay, so now I'm ready. Whoopsie, look what I did. How funny. Uh, help, help. I have stuck that dude down. Okay, we can replace that one. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is put one more. There we go. And then just attach this to my card base if I wanna go this way. I don't wanna get myself confused. that and then I'm ready to attach my designer series paper Use plenty of snail on this so that it will stay stuck and then I'm just looking really well that I have it fairly straight and then not hanging off one side or the other too far, of course. All right, so I have that. Then I'm ready to just use snail to put this on here. Easy peasy. And then I'll need dimensionals. Probably uh, at least three, but maybe four, depending on how yours turns out, how you think it's going to lay. Then, ready to just stick that on there. All right, then to color my um, little strawberry, I just used the light old olive because I think that's what it looks like here, maybe the pear pizzazz. And I used that to color the stem, the little strawberry bonnet there. And then, oh, that is not the color I thought I had out. I need to find my red. Here we are. I used the flirty flamingo, the dark flirt, or the actually, the, I think I might have used the light. Got a brand new one here. That'll be fun. I used the light flirty flamingo, sort of all over the center of the flower, of I mean, the flower of the strawberry. Kind of like that. You don't need to get the edges because you're going to go over that mostly with our poppy parade. So then I am looking at this and I am seeing that I have the dark poppy parade here and I probably, here's the light. Okay. So this is the light poppy parade. So what I'm doing is going all around the edge first. So I have a nice crisp little edge and then all around the strawberry bonnet. And then I certainly don't want to not color anything that's in this shadow area. Um, you could also take a little bit of your pool party. Now this is just a, you know, not a necessary thing, um, like the light pool party, and make it like it's around the strawberry, like a, like a little, um, a shadow of where it's been sitting. And then I just went ahead and colored almost all of the strawberry. And then what I wanted to do is just leave some areas uncolored as if the light is hitting right on those spots. And um, so that it like in that area, it makes it look a little bit lighter. So I'm just coloring this up as best I can. So that is a super simple card, but I think it makes a a really cute look because you are repeating the floral look throughout the card and you're repeating the nice colors. Um, again, if you want to make a quick card with a stamp that's got a sentiment and a stamp on the same one, very often it's super easy to use a round die or punch to um, create maybe basically this little sketch. So. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this part of the class and thanks for watching.